Now we want to show our own statuses on our timeline as well as any of our friends' statuses as well. And this might seem like quite a difficult thing to do, but it's actually very simple. So what we're going to do is we are going to update our home controller and we're going to pass through all of our statuses and our friends' statuses in the timeline. The reason this might seem difficult is because we need them in chronological order, but somehow we need to kind of merge the two together. So we need to merge all of our friend statuses and our statuses, and this can get really, really tricky. But with Eloquent, it's pretty straightforward. So the first thing I'm gonna do is actually from another user account, uh, let's just check who I'm friends with here. So yeah, so Billy is friends with Alex. So if we post a status from Billy, we should see it on, on our timeline. So what a nice day, and we'll just update the status from Billy. And we now have two statuses in here. So we should see uh, over on my account, two statuses appear here. So let's do this all in here and we'll just die dump the results. so We can see what we get through from the result of this. And then we'll implement the view later to actually loop through and show all of the statuses. So I'm gonna have a variable here called statuses. And this is going to be status. So we're using the status uh, object here, where, and before we do anything else, I'm just going to go ahead and use chatty models status. So status where, and in here, we're gonna have a callback and we're gonna have our query builder passed into this. And from that, we can return uh, more things. So we're gonna say return query where, and this it basically it's it's going to return any results where the user ID matches our user ID or where the user ID of each record is in our friends list so that will pull back all of the relevant records so we say where user ID equals auth user ID and then down here we say or where in because what we're doing is we're saying where in user ID, and then we grab a list of our friends. So user friends, but we need the users, our friends IDs. We need each of our friends IDs. So to do this, we use the lists method and we choose ID, simple as that. And then outside of this, we can go ahead and we can order this by whatever we want. So that will order all of them records. And we're gonna order them by created at I'm gonna order them descending. And then we can paginate them as well. So we're gonna be including some pagination here. So now that we've got this done, we can pass these through to our timeline, but I'm just gonna die dump on these results. Uh, in fact, we'll change this to get just for now. And let's say statuses. Let's refresh the page here. And there we go. So we've got two statuses as we would expect, so two status objects. The first one being what a nice day, that's from Billy. And the second one is me. And remember this second one here is the last one because it was posted first. So the, the, the latest one will be at the top. So we've now got all of these statuses. Let's return this to paginate. And we'll paginate by 10. You can obviously adjust this value. And we're gonna uh, render this view with statuses as that statuses. And now in our home or timeline template, we can list through them. So over on our index page here, this is where our statuses and replies are going to be. So the first thing we need to do is check whether we actually have any statuses. So if not statuses count else, let me end that if there. So if we don't have any statuses in our timeline, we'll say there's nothing in your timeline yet. Otherwise, we want to loop through our statuses. So for each statuses as status, we end the for each there. So this will be each of the statuses. So when we refresh now, we should see status output twice. If we don't have any statuses in our database, so what I'm gonna do is just change these to user ID of nine for a moment. There's nothing in your timeline yet. That was one and three, I believe. Let's just double check that, yeah. So we've now got these two status objects, which we can go ahead and output. You'll find the markup for this in the course download. 
So if you copy and paste this over inside of this for each loop, there's a lot here, but I'll go in ahead and explain exactly what we've got. Just make sure that's nicely indented. So what we have here is another media object with a, an avatar for the user that has posted this status. We've got the media body, which contains the name of the user with a link to their profile, the actual post itself. And then we've got an unordered list, um, which will basically contain when this was posted, a button to actually like the status, which we'll be including later, and a count of how many times this has been liked. Now, for now, we're ignoring these because we're not focusing on that yet. Next here, we've got a reply. So this is going to be a for each loop. We're going to be looping on this. So these are all of the replies to the statuses. So we don't really need this just yet. So what I'm going to do is just comment that out. So you can go ahead and comment that out. Here we have the uh, form to be able to reply to a status. So we'll keep this in anyway. So let's see what this has done. We'll just refresh. So this is basically what it looks like. We're obviously not outputting a user profile at the moment, uh, but we can just uh, tidy this up just now. So the first thing to do then is this media object. That is the user. So status is user. That is the profile picture. Now remember over on our status model, we have a user relation. So what we can do is for any status, we can grab the user who owns that status. So in here, I'm going to say status user get avatar URL. And in the alt, we can just output their full name. So status user get name or username. And we should see the following. There we go. So we've got that profile there. So the next thing then is obviously the link to the user's profile. So let's create a link here. And this is profile dot. Just remind ourselves, let's come over to the roots here. So it's profile dot index. And remember here, we need to pass a username in. So pass that username, which is status user username. So for a user, remember this is uh, Billy and this is Alex, although it doesn't show it at the moment. So that goes through, or this will, this will go through to Alex and this will go through to Billy. So let's update the link. So we'll copy and paste this for the actual name of the user as well. So we can paste that into there. And then we can obviously output the user's name here too. So this will be status user get name or username. And here will be the body. So we can replace that now. We already know that we have a status body. And we can output the time as well. So obviously uh, created at and updated updates in Eloquent are carbon objects. So we can use carbon and we can say status created at diff for humans. So let's check this out. And it now looks a little bit better. So we've got Billy Garrett, Alex Garrett. I can click on that. I can click on that. And we have the body and the time it was posted as well. So we now have a timeline with not only our own statuses on, but our friend statuses as well. And you can go ahead and play around with this and create more user accounts, add them as friends, post things. If we head over to Billy again and we uh, post something else, obviously on Billy's timeline as well now, you can see that so it's reflected. Um, we'll just write something in there and we'll head over to here and we see that updated. So it's all being updated for us. So now that we've updated our timeline to show a list of all of the statuses, um, what happens if there are more than the paginated amount? Remember, we're paginating by 10 here. If I do paginate by two, obviously, we're only going to see the first two records here. We need some pagination at the bottom so we can flick through this. So over on our index page at the bottom here, we are going to, after this, render out the links. So what we need to do is we'll see a problem with this. If we do statuses render, you'll see that this will just render a load of markup because by default, blade outputting will escape everything. So we just need two exclamation marks like that. When we go ahead and refresh, we then see our pagination and we can paginate between our results. Easy as that. So we'll go and uh, change this back to 10 because two is a little bit uh, too little. 
and if we return to our home page there we go so we've got three results there with obviously the ability to paginate if there are more than 10.